What's up y'all? Devil CFPV here and I am making some changes to my YouTube channel. Those being that I'm going to be more engaging, talking about my gear, why I use that gear, how I tune my gear. There's still going to be flight footage, but because of my channel losing so many subscribers here recently over the past few months due to me being so busy at work, um, I'm going to try and change that now. So, all of y'all know that I am sponsored by GRL. Let me show you the box. And, um, this is what the frame looks like. This is the low rider version. This is the standard version. The standoffs are a little bit higher than the other one. So, what I uh, have put in this quad is these new components right here. Full function F7 Pro V2. And what that looks like. This is an old one, but it's busted. It looks like this. You can hook up eight motors to it, but I'm only running four. But this flight controller is so good. And if I don't use this one, I used Kakute H7. But if I'm being honest, the T-Motor F7 Pro V2 is better. So the ESC that I opted to use this time is the P60A V2 D-Shot 2400 128K. So this 4-in-1 ESC is a 6S ESC. The PWM frequency goes from 16 to 128. The peak current is 70 amps. Total weight, 22 grams. And amperage meter, 150. ESC belly, BL, BL Heli 32. Now, just recently I have updated my computer so I am now able to use Betaflight and BL Heli 32, both of the brand new versions. And I have put 4.4.2 firmware on this bad boy right there. You can see the P60 ESC, it's like a bluish silver. And um, yeah. I've got this bad boy tuned, and this is the best flying quad I have probably ever built. I mean, it it flies so good on that firmware, and the tune that I have, man. I'm going to show y'all what I did and how I did that. And let's see, where's the motor? Here it is. These motors right here, the Racing Power 2207 GTS V4 2100 kV MCK edition motors are so pretty. They are fast as shit. I mean, they are some of the sickest motors I've ever used. They are definitely my go-to motor now. And I want to show you what they look like coming out of the box. So let's just go ahead and unbox this bad boy. You ready? Got some stickers. Racing power. And then here's the motor. Now these motors are so pretty. I mean, I love these damn things. So pretty. 
beautiful color. It just really sets the quad off with that look. They're also the smoothest and they are pretty fucking light. I can't remember exactly what grams they are, but they're lighter than um they're lighter than this version right here. The uh the old MCK T motor 2100 uh 2207.5 but they're just as fast. Um, so yeah, I have these motors on this quad, and I won't fly any other motor now, since I've tested these out. So, what I want to do now is, uh, plug her up, show you my, um, beta flight settings and uh how i uh tune my build all right so you just plug your flight controller in and boom there it is it pops up so i'm gonna go to the pit tuning tab and these are my PIDs, 64 for the roll, 67 for the pitch, and 70 for the yaw. Adding more to the yaw helps with cornering around things instead of drifting around things. It'll cut into a corner. And um, D max is 36 42 and 0 and feed forward is 210 pitch axis 215 and yaw axis 210 go on over here i'll just show you my rates those are my rates 923 is the max level, but the RC rate is 1.43, and then I have the rate at 0 0.69, and Expo is 0.47 on roll and pitch axis, but on yaw axis it is 40. Throttle mid is 23, Expo 15, and see, you might want to be careful when um, doing it like this, see, because I'm getting a warning right there, but I have my D-term filtering slid over to 1.45. I have the gyro low pass one filter turned off. My gyro arm RPM filtering harmonics is two instead of three. I've left all of these the same. And I've left all of those the same. So pretty much turn gyro low pass one off and raise D-term filter multiplier to 1.45. But like I said, you want to be careful when you do that. So those are my PIDs. So the next video that I'm going to be doing, if y'all want me to, I'm going to do BL Heli 32 settings and uh, the new firmware that's on that about this ESC, the P60 amp um if y'all don't want to then i won't but what i plan to do next video is show y'all this guy up in the air show y'all how smooth it is without stabilization on the gopro and yeah 
I don't know why more people aren't obsessed about this frame because this is a true basher. They never break, ever. I've broke, I've broke four arms on the five inch in the past two, two and a half years. Only four arms and that's all I've broken. So, that's a damn good frame. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe, like button, hit that bell, that notification bell for the next time I post. Peace out.